to Colin to find out more information to help us spread the word that levies and failures is not just a New Orleans problem, but not only a national problem, but an international problem. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Well, you're, you're correct. We can learn a lot from uh, from this country particularly, and the city of Rotterdam, but also the whole country of the Netherlands. And we must learn, because if we don't, and admit what we've done wrong, it will happen again. Absolutely. And we want to make sure, just like the Dutch, never again. Every centimeter of ground in this country is planned very well, and it's planned for urban use or residential use or agricultural use or recreation use. It's also planned for water, and the water in the polder is managed to the centimeter level. The rain last night, the water board is now moving water around to keep the groundwater surface water level correct, but not to overflow this river with, um, with too much water. So they're managing it very well by the minute. It's so important to realize that if you look left and right of the boat, you see the land is much lower than the water level. The New Orleanians are used to that, but maybe people in the rest of the country are not. I mean, the water just seems like put away from, from these beautiful houses. They really live below the water level. So the more we densify, the less space we have where the water can infiltrate. And one of the main things we try to do is uh, when it's raining, like last night for example, is not getting the water out as fast as possible, but to find solutions um, where we can store the water. I have a question. So if a developer's coming in and proposing something, how do you control what they do? Um, actually, for every building that you make, you have to compensate the open water space. So now, 10% of each uh, uh, square meter you build has to be open water. When I was working on a water plan, they were also working on a parking garage. And then we found a way for, oh, well, why don't we combine it? If we make it underground, you have to make a concrete basin. But do, combining it with the, with the other project, it makes it more cheap. Or how do you say it? More, 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 more affordable. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. To compare New Orleans with, with Rotterdam, if you look at the, at the grounds, the, the soil, we have the same kind of soil conditions. So to make this, you would really have to make a concrete basin, which is watertight, of course. Because the water table, it's, it's just 50 centimeters, three feet underneath this level. So it's, it's going to push up. So you have to make, of course, a concrete box. I'm enjoying Rotterdam. The uh, canals are beautiful, they have boats in them, they're using the water in their everyday life. We in the Netherlands, we have a history with water management. Try to pick up what you think is interesting and don't copy it but translate it. But translate it to your situation. You made a choice in your country to have a president who said, yes we can. No, I will say, yes, we do. <laughs> I'd like to uh, introduce our EPA administrator, Lisa Jackson. She's from New Orleans and had the experience of going through the flood. Uh, her family was flooded out of the ninth ward, and we have been so honored to have her as a new mm -hmm. appointee of the President of the United States. We all know who comes and never keep up. So we have to find ways to, as much as possible, not for the Katrina, but for the every month storm and the big May floods and the times in the year when we get those rains to be able to hold some water in place. As a city needs to redevelop itself, it can do so in a number of different ways. And this is one way. This is a climate resilient island. It is very modern, and maybe the architectural styles are not a New Orleanian, but that's a matter of style and location. Ten years ago, this was water. Not very deep water, only two meters deep water. It is so much construction like this going on, and yet our, our country seems to be a little bit paralyzed, you know, right now, about what to do, about how to rebuild the islands that we're losing and, and how to, you know, toughen up our shores, and, uh, how to strengthen our low-lying areas. And uh, I know we know how to do it. I think it's the political decisions. Yes. Yeah. I'm standing on with, you know, very solid, it feels very, very solid land that was built out of a lake. And I'm having a hard time, and I know our Corps of Engineer people are here, having a hard time getting our Corps of Engineers to build our little 
Grand Isle, you know, to save <laughs> our little barrier islands that keep sinking into the Gulf. Water also adds value to living environment. This is a picture of one of the newest residential areas in a beautiful combination of water storage uh, capacity on one hand and a very nice living environment on the other hand. We are developing a roof park. It's a combination of a levee, housing, shops, and the park. The gray area on the right hand side uh, is the area which is mainly residential. And the purple area is the port area, the industrial area. When the port becomes too small, we make another part of land and we expand our port uh, towards the sea. Staying the way we are is not an option. All the tenders are being built bigger than they can actually come up the river. And in order for the city and the region to grow, we have to be able to do economic development. And we cannot have the same economic development that we had 150 years ago in our port structure. So we need to think about moving our port, just like they did, or moving parts of our port, not all of our port, to the mouth of the river for any number of reasons. What we've learned about water management and what we've learned about uh, the can-do attitude of the Dutch people, nine million of them living below sea level, and here we are in New Orleans with barely a million, and people are saying, well, maybe that can't happen. It can yes, happen. we've seen that it can Thank happen. Thank you very much for You're letting welcome. us join you. Thank you so much. find that out. Thank you.